If you are not getting the results that you want in your life right now, whether it be a successful career, happiness, love, money, whatever it is, something is holding you back and that's why it's not happened yet. And one way that we can release what's holding you back is by looking at beliefs. Now this is what's worked for me and by the end of this video you will recognise what's actually holding you back so you can release it and you can start living the life that you want, getting the results that you want. Hi, I'm Sorsha and I help people get unstuck and create powerful results in their life. If my content resonates with you, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so that you can get more powerful shifts just like this on your feed. Our beliefs have such a huge impact on our lives and they're what we live by. So the more that you become aware of your beliefs and how they're actually playing out in your life, whether they're beliefs that hinder you or they're beliefs that actually support you in what you desire, and to hone this in a little bit more, I'm going to share with you a bit of my story and how my beliefs have affected me. So I actually had a realisation the other day that I have a painful relationship with money and I've struggled to make a decent amount of money in my life and throughout, throughout my life I've made less and less and less and I've always had this uncomfortable feeling around it but I've just pushed it down and tried to ignore it and thought no 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 I just I've just got to make money I can't deal with that right now and I kind of had this fear of losing money in the sense of if I dealt with the root of what it was that actually I'd stop making money altogether and it was a really really weird fear and I remember having these dreams where I was working so hard and working to my full capacity, like sweating, so tired, but working hours after hours after hours in these dreams. And I would just make pennies and it would just get worse and worse. And that dream occurred quite a lot, but I ignored this for such a long time because I was afraid that of, of just losing money, of coming to terms with that maybe I won't make much more which sounds crazy because you always have the ability to make money. And so I sat down with myself the other day because I realized I'm not getting the result that I want in my life. And I have this uncomfortable relationship with money and I need to just sit with it and realize what's actually going on here. So I journaled and I reflected and I asked myself, I was like, what is going on here? What, why do I feel so uncomfortable? And this memory came up and it was of me feeling so unworthy as a child, but in the sense that I really felt like I had to earn relationships with the people around me and I didn't feel that I was of value. In the fact that I had to earn relationships, it felt that like I just wasn't good enough and that I had to be better and better and I realised this is just manifested through my relationship in money in the sense that actually I just don't feel worthy and this is this is a worthiness story here that I've just let carry on I haven't dealt with I've ignored it and so when I got to down to the beliefs of I just don't feel good enough I don't feel good enough um, in the sense that I have to work extra, extra hard because my value is not good enough. That actually I need to be paid less for my value. And it is just this weird, weird story that I've been playing out but I've ignored for so long because it was so uncomfortable. And as soon as I was aware of that and I chose to see different and I just as soon as I saw what it was, I kind of had a relief because I was like, oh, okay, that's what that is. That's what the fear is. And now I can release that and I can choose better beliefs that really support me. And so in doing that, the result that I actually got from that was not only feeling better from having this relief from this fear, but also understanding it was just a fear that that's all it was. It wasn't true. But also that same day I had somebody offer me money that I didn't ask for 
And so that's when I realised, okay, I'm starting to shift this. This is how I'm starting to repair my relationship and understand that my value is worth money. My value is worth so much and that I don't need to go and try really hard to earn my value because my value is enough. I am enough. And as I was going through this process, I realized as well, for the last 10 years, I've never really wanted to celebrate my birthday because I didn't feel like I was good enough to be celebrated. I didn't feel like I deserved it. But actually getting to the root of why I wasn't getting that result gave me so much of a picture and an understanding that actually, oh no, I can change this now. Oh, that's just a fear, that's just a thought, but it's not actually true. And I believe that. So what you want to do is look at the areas in your life where you're not getting the results that you want, or you want to attract things into your life, but it's not quite happening. Look at what the beliefs are, look at the root. You may find when you journal and you reflect on this, that actually a memory comes up and it kind of puts all the puzzle pieces together for you. And then you realize, oh, okay, I can turn this around. And the more that you investigate these things, the more that you can actually change what's happening in your life and you can become aware of these beliefs and you can choose to let them go and choose better beliefs. And even if you don't feel that you're at the stage of that you feel, say, really successful, you can even just say, everything is working out for me and just start from where you're at, start from there because once you start the process, when you feel a bit better, when you start to feel like, oh yeah, everything's working out for me, that's when you can encourage an even better belief and then just go start the process because the more that you start this journey of changing your beliefs, the more that your life is going to change forever. And the best thing, this is, this is a game changer and I absolutely love doing this, is wake up every day and choose to see better. See, we're all in the process of figuring this out. It's not a matter of if it will happen, it's a matter of when. So don't give up, choose new beliefs, work out what the root is, and you'll really change your life. If you are struggling to get results in your life and you would like some support and some guidance, join my coaching program. All the details are down below in the description box. I can help you get unstuck. I can help you get clear on what's actually holding you back, give you tools and techniques so that you build your confidence and you actually start getting the results that you want. All the details are down below in the description box so make sure you check that out.